you, you obviously travel around and talk to these student athletes like this at different places. How meaningful it is to go to different universities and speak about what the NCAA has to offer? What's interesting is that the conversations are often the same about the value of college sports, but most importantly, the value of a college education. I find that the, the schools have different approaches, um, that the student athletes who come across might be different in terms of their backgrounds, and yet they all have the same characteristics. Now, no matter where you are, they're all high achievers, they work really hard. Uh, I've talked about the statistics that the, the, the student athletes graduate in Division One at a much higher rate than the non-athletes do, that their GPAs are generally higher across the board. So you, you get similarities of those characteristics, even though the institutions themselves might be dramatically different in, in their size and how many sports they offer and what level they offer them at. So for me, it's always reassuring when I come to places like UNC Asheville to, to get to know, and I get to know a number of the student athletes here, and you walk away saying, you know what, as a society, we're going to be pretty good in the future if these young people are eventually going to be our leaders. Staying with that responsiveness, you know, you had a lot of interaction with these UNC Asheville student athletes. What have you learned about UNC Asheville since being here? Uh, first thing I've learned is that they, they have great support from the top. You know, everything in a university environment, and you can say this about most businesses, it all comes from the top. And if the message from the top is we value you, as a student athlete, we value your contributions. We hope you are getting back from us what you need from us. Uh, what I've learned here is that from the very top, uh, and, and especially in your athletic staff, and the coaches, they all realize that these are young people here for four, maybe five years. They're not going to be pros. They're going to have other careers in their life. So let's let them be. Let's figure out a way to let them be the best athletes they can possibly be while we're also cherishing the notion of the student part of this. And they've told us stories about, told me stories about conflicts with the lab and with practice, and the coaches have said, no, you go do the lab. That's why you're here. We can make up the practice time. We'll figure it out. You don't always get that at colleges and universities across the country. But what I found here at UNC Asheville is that, that that's the rule here rather than the exception, and, and that's very encouraging. Thanks for your time.